So everyone, how you all doing? Um, lovely weather we're having. Anyway, history. We're in a deep level shelter here. There was many of these made across the UK. This one had the capacity to hold over 8,000 people and some of the corridors in some of these deep level shelters are over 12,000 feet long. So it can give you an estimate of how big these places actually are. Um, there's four tunnels, all the same length, all the same beds. Uh, obviously there was washrooms and there was toilets and you know everything they needed in this place to be able to stay away from the bombings and survive but unfortunately they were actually made after the main blitzes so they didn't see as much activity as they were supposed to or intended to but I'm assuming they still saved a hell of a lot of lives and they're a, a magnificent piece of uh, engineering you know, these places, as you see when I'm in there, were pretty much bolted together, like the old Marley builds, um, the old garages, you know, that just bolt together. It was like, it's just incredible. Um, there is lots and lots of history to these places. If I say too much now, I'm just going to give the place away. A lot of you will already know what it is and probably have a good guess of what it is, and, you know, that's fine. But as explorers and as people who do this, we all know we shouldn't be in these places anyway, really, should we? Um, I know we're not doing any harm and we do get a bad name, but um, I think as explorers we need to do our bit the best we can to at least try and keep them the way we found them. And if somebody else destroys it, or so, you know, that's down to them. But anyway, uh, let's get on with the explore and, and have a look. I just wanted to give you a little touch base before we started. And I will put a bit more of its history in the description of the video. So if it interests you, you can, uh, you know, go over there and have a read and there'll be a bit more. Anyway, I hope you really enjoy this, because this is one of my favourite explores that we've done. So, let's get on with it. Evening, chaps and chappers. What a good one we got tonight. I've been driving for two hours, but we're in a massive, deep shelter. Let's have a gander, shall we? Bear with me, stick me torch on. That is not the way in, by the way. So a lot of people will probably recognise this place. There's actually lights on. Lift. So people, I am fully expecting them to be people in here. Some old man walked out. Some old man walked out as we sort of came in, watched us walk in. There's only one place you can go here, and that's in here. Whoa, look how deep it is. We gotta walk back up these. Going. No sign of it stopping yet. Mars decay and the old pipes and that there. Down. 
I ain't looking forward to walking back up here, that's for sure. I'm fully expecting them to be people in here. We'll see. I think we're finally at the bottom. Bear duct. White bulbs everywhere. Wow. Same that side. This place is huge. Place is massive. Right, well, that's definitely a dead end. So, I'll say we go left. You don't know whether that's cars or people or anything, do you? you'd have felt pretty safe down here. Hearing all that noise above you gives you an idea of what it must have sounded like, but so much louder. This is huge. So I imagine you'd have had storage, and there's your bunks. This is the problem with him, look. 
He's all the way back there. He never keeps up. Schedule to agreement made between the shadows. Organize the mouth and examination script and carry the relief. 1997. Paperwork. It always amazes me. All the old paperwork left behind. 1990. Seven ninety five again. That's crazy. Duncan, if I can... Excuse my French, it goes again. Look, look, it's the same again. And there's one the other side as well. 1963. 1969, 67. Wow. More bunks. Think the amount of people that would have been in this place. This place is ridiculously big. Trains. 
Really, I should go right to that end and back up again, I suppose, but... the lifts again. Let me just check. There's another one. Why does it keep doing that with my camera? An old fashioned drink fountain. I think this is back at the lift. We've gone down a level, haven't we? So we might as well try and hit all of this bit and then go back up. So if we walk down where these red doors back are, Yeah, I know, I'm just trying to re familiar myself with it. So we came in through this one. So do we walk back up that one? Or do we go all the way to the end of that one and hope that it brings us all the way back from that one? Right guys, it's massively repetitive as you can see and I'm already on 15 minutes into this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the pause button and whenever I see anything good or anything new or I turn a corner or whatever, I will, um, I will press play and carry on recording. We were just saying, I've come to another section which is the same, but it's got gates all down these ones. Wondering why Duncan thinks storage, but they still look like bunks to me. And there's a, a nice, a lot of sign of recent life down here. Continue. I can just found this. Little postcard. Honestly, guys, this is huge. I can't. We've been walking for say. 10 minutes down one corridor and we just keep passing it just keeps going and going and going so yeah we get to the top of some steps look and once again rows and rows and rows and rows of it So what do we do? Do we go back down that one? And walk right to the end? And go up? Or do we go up here and walk right to that one? Duncan. Do we go down this one and walk right back up to the end and then go up and carry on so we don't miss nothing? Or do we walk up this one and go to the end and then down the stairs? See? <coughs> 
Right, so definitely signs of life. And there was definitely a bloke walked out of here as we walked in. And he stopped at the end to watch us and we just pretended we were going for a wee down a cutway. And then realised I'd left my phone in the car. Went back to the car and got the phone. But yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Found a little officey bit. Message for Michael, could you ring Jan? Jan, what's it? I'm not reading that out. No info on there and some very rude writing. Holy moly. Oh, I know what they are. Brings a whole thing forward, look. Right? And got these in. Military hospital that we did. And it brings them all together so you can sort of walk back and forward. Crazy, I don't know why all the lights on. Well that's the bit we walked up to, so we're definitely walking back the right way, just down the opposite end. Watch, there's poo poo in there. Yeah. Oh. So this is where the squatters or whatever have been uh, using the loo. You can smell it. Archives, it says here. Train ticket. Anyway, we've just found a packet of photos that are completely unrelated to what... Those are the negatives to these, so that's how they would have printed them back in the day, Duncan. Those pictures will probably be the same as what these are already are printed. But yeah, completely unrelated. It's just ridiculous, this place is massive. What's up? You've seen an old Pepsi bottle, did you? In there. Down at the end. Glass one. Go on then. If you want to get that, go get that bad boy. Let's have a look.
There's your entertainment for the night, guys. Oh, wow, yeah. There's an old one, isn't it? If anyone knows the year to this, let us know. Smart. I just saw a bit of wall art. Well, it was wall art until someone ruined it. stairs there. Okay. Alright, that's back at the stairs dunk. Press the power the light switch. Just turning the buttons, I'm not damaging nothing else. <laughs> Just wanted to see if it'd do anything. Put them all back to where they were. Right. I think this is us done one level when we get to the end of this, and then we've got like 27 million more to go. There is a reactor of some sort in here. I would probably have explained it more at the beginning, because I'd have gone back and done research, but... This place opened up recently by some uh, undesirable YouTubers a lot of people don't like. And um, I was told it was sealed. And then a very good friend of mine, if you know, you know who you are, if you're watching, thank you, gave me the heads up and said, actually, no, it's not sealed, get your bum down there. So I went to bed last night, got up this morning, been itching to go. Put the kiddies to bed, told the missus, jumped in the motor, two and a half hours or whatever up here. It's probably about midnight now and we're not even halfway through it. It's what we do. I just want to give you, I just can't understand, like, guys, you don't get understand, you see that light down there that you see in the distance, that's a doorway, which leads right into another one of these, which then goes to some stairs, which takes you up and leads into more of these, just, just try and grasp how many beds there are, one, two, three, all the way along, all of these, it's like, and they're all made by hand. They're all bolted, nuts and bolts and welds and everything else. It's all massive effort. Just shows you how much, oh, that's where the smell's coming from, people. There's a big dead fox there. And he ain't been dead for that long, because rock quite quick. Okay, so we'll walk this one now. This one looks the same, but it's been stripped. It gives you an idea of the size of these tunnels. Unbelievable. BBC Sound Archives. That's 
a tripod for a microphone or something. Right guys, yeah, I'll continue. We're nearly half hour now, so I'll pause you again. So we've just walked through this corridor a bit. And it's just just more. And this is probably straight back into the tunnel system that we just did, it is. That's crazy, it's just huge, guys. Oh, I've been repeating myself since I got down here about how big this place is. I've done some underground stuff, as you guys know, and none of it's ever been this big. <coughs> Look. Everywhere you turn, just another passageway. Unbelievable. storage for beds. So yeah, I'll pause it guys. So this is pretty cool. <coughs> As you go in, little room, little coat hanger. Smart. I wouldn't bother going in there. Someone's defecated in there. Huh. There's another one that goes off. This bit's a lot cleaner than those other bits, isn't it? Right, I'll pause it, poops. So, guys, we just had a bit of a scary experience. There's definitely someone else in here. I 
just seen someone down at the end of one of the corridors. And we've just found where they're pretty much living and stuff. When I say that, you can just see cigarette butts and um, bedding and things like that. But you're bound to get somewhere like this. Surely there's loads of homeless people. Agent Coupon, September 02. So it's sort of twisted off here, and we thought we'd go around. He just disappears. Where is he? Right, we're going back through. Well, I'm sure I saw someone. And we're going to walk down that way because otherwise we've got to go right back again. Right down there. I'm fucking sure that someone's did that. See that? Is that someone's did that? It looks like two legs. Walk towards it and find out. It's just gone off. Yeah. yeah. And the lights keep going on and off. Uh, so we won't pass them. I don't think they're food wrappers. It's probably just a two couple of posts or something. If I went back there, it looked like it was a person. I'm sure I saw someone like down here with a carrier bag in their hand. Oh well. Must have been that. Must have been that. So I'll um, pause up again. And here's another twisty tunnel. So we walked up here and come through that gap. That's the one that was empty, remember? Probably the same as up there. Yeah, some storage room. Be another one in a dead end. A dead end. But this one's open. Back to the bottom of the lift. This must be where we come in then. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I come down and walk through that door. Oh, look at that big thing. That's huge. Ladder and it takes you down underground. Look down there. Oh, we 
found it. This is the bit I've come here for. So. Now look at this. Look at this, people. Wow. Look at this. Now, from what I've been told, there's only 50 of these in the world working, and this one works, apparently. Obviously, I'm not going to mess around with it too much, because it's... It's glass. That's just amazing. Won't open more than that. This is amazing guys. Let me figure it out. Oh, I'm not gonna undo it because the whole face comes off of it. But if I get Duncan to hold the camera, you ought to see it's moving pieces. That's just crazy. And to think we could have walked down, took a straight right, and it would have been it. And here is a layout, must be of the electrics. This is what I come here for, peeps. That's heating buffet. Put the handle up and down. Switch all back off. Imagine if all these fired up and just lit up and stuff. It'd be amazing. But yeah, guys, I mean, pretty much what I come here to see was. This old machinery. It's just incredible. I can't believe it's just sat here. It should be in a museum. So people, there's one bit we haven't quite explored. We've just lifted that off and sat it there nicely. We're gonna venture down and see what's down there. So it's uh Sewer system, I think. It stinks. And it's full of water. And it runs right down under there. So I ain't getting in that. Time to go back up. Very, very rusty. 
I was just saying to Duncan, you do not uh, want to end up stuck down here. Um, and all put back just how we found it. Amazing. So, I think we've done it. We've now got to try and head back up them. God, I wish that lift was working. I was told it was. But the cables are snapped and everything, so it's definitely not. So we'll see you at the top. Look at this way. So peeps, that's another one for you. All done. I'm gonna get on the wrong road home. I'll catch you on the next one.